The thing is like a carpet or a snake or something. Hey everybody, Joel Hansen here. We are officially in Cleveland, Ohio. Just drove by the Cleveland Clinic. Mother, I am thinking of you. I forgot to take a picture, but you know, if you watch this video, no, I was thinking of you. My mother's interested in the Cleveland Clinic. Anyway, we are off to Strongsville, Ohio to do the Shinto Sushi Challenge. I think it's called like the Monster Sushi Roll, Monster Roll Sushi Challenge. So essentially, you have one hour to complete the challenge. If you do not complete it, it is $50. If you do complete it, the meal is free. You have a $25 gift card to use it at a later date. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So the challenge itself is consisting of a whack of, well, of course, rice, seaweed, etc. It is a deep fried roll, but also you have cream cheese, not my favorite. Uh, I believe it's salmon, shrimp, like tempura shrimp. You also have crab salad, I think it's seaweed salad. Uh, and cucumbers, so quite a mix, kind of like a California roll-ish variant in a way. But anyway, it sounds delicious, really looking forward to it. Here again with Mr. Megabyte, Ronnie Hartman. Yes. Of course, Mr. George Lobianco, Mr. Obako. And so yeah, let's go find eat some food and uh, this will be my first sushi challenge. Oh, and this will be win number 100. This will be independent win of 100 different food challenges if I can win this. So don't jinx me, let's go for win 100. All right, everybody, so here we go. This massive, 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 massive sushi challenge. This thing's huge. Somewhere about like seven-ish pounds. Uh, I'm just gonna sit and enjoy it. This is uh, number 100 if we win. I have never ate sushi in my life. So uh, let's start, I guess, the count of five, four, three, two, let's eat. A lot of cream cheese. Oh, it's so spicy. Mm. I don't know if I like it. It's a little late now. Yeah. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video and we are finally doing an actual sushi food challenge. Like, literally, it only took 100 challenges for me to finally find one. And in fact, in Ohio, like landlocked Ohio in the middle of nowhere. Who would have thought? So that everybody will tell you a little bit more about it here. Um, so let's dive into it. Try through that thought it was evil. Your sushi dad has a taste. It's like a deep fried roll. I'm not a big deep fried roll person, so it's not bad. So as I mentioned, and as you should be able to tell by the appearance, this is a deep fried sushi roll. So of course it tastes like a deep fried sushi roll, which is just not to my preference. It's not that it was bad. Um, one of the strongest flavors in the roll was the cream cheese. They literally just loaded it up with cream cheese. So if you enjoy that flavor, you'd really like it. If not, well, you have to deal with it anyway. The roll was actually a lot spicier than I would have anticipated. I didn't anticipate it actually being spicy, but it was definitely quite spicy. They had like a little wasabi mayonnaise on it and I want to say a different hot item in it, like a hot sauce too. So it actually was pretty spicy. Is this a garnish or That's um, ginger. Either. Bite that. You don't have to, so they use it like in between bites to cleanse your palate. That's an accent. So definitely one of the most interesting dynamics about this challenge is that Ronnie never had sushi before. So I will say very bold of him to go from never having sushi or like trying raw fish to having a seven pound sushi roll which these rolls do vary in size. Um, although it's advertised about five pounds and Randy Santel got one about five pounds. Um, if you look at like ours and Darren's, they are quite a bit bigger. So I really do estimate this thing being about seven pounds. Um, you do have the one hour to complete it. So I do think like it's a reasonable amount of time and such, but I mean, you know, 
Ronnie never having sushi and then going straight to this, I mean, hey, that's pretty, that's a bold move. Especially because it's just filled with lots of different flavors which are not, um, we'll say, familiar to the North American palate, uh, such as seaweed, wasabi, um, seaweed salad, raw fish. Um, which that's the other that was the other spicy thing in it. They had spicy tuna. That's what was spicy in it So it was tuna in a hot sauce um, So that plus the wasabi mayonnaise and the little bit of wasabi they used in the roll That's what's really giving you the dynamic So this was also kind of like a hibachi grill and sushi grill You can kind of see the flames uh, going off behind me there um, Intermittently so it was actually a very loud restaurant like lots of clanging um, So I mean it's kind of like you can have a dinner show here uh, Restaurant was not cheap in general like quite an expensive menu but kind of a neat place to have a sushi roll, especially in the middle of nowhere in Ohio. So with that, everybody, I'll let you go to the rest of the video. I hope you enjoy, and uh, let's see if both of us can get our wins.
So now everybody, just finished the challenge. Really good tasting. Uh, maybe somewhere around seven-ish minutes. Just eating it very casually. I'm kind of tired from earlier and sleeping on it and all that stuff. So everybody will tune in. Ronnie's just finishing up. I tell you, he's doing absolutely great for having his first time eating sushi. Like seriously, that's an accomplishment to have your first time eating sushi and you seriously go and do like a massive challenge like this. This is, excuse me, that's no joke. So tune in as Ronnie finishes up. Huge thank you everybody here to staff at Shinto. It was really, really good. And uh, yeah, no complaints. And by the way, this is wasabi and a whole bunch of ginger, which I don't have to finish. That would be painful. That would be painful. That would be so mean. I would be. I've learned that that's just a garnish. Which, yeah, like a condiment. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know what that means out there. Did you know how to eat? It's just there for decoration. And it cleanses your palate. That's right. Whatever your palate is. I was told to put this plate back in front of you. She's going to take a Okay. <laughs> I got my plate back. <laughs> for, I'm like walking around. She's like, go put that back down. Where's her menu? Where's her menu? Oh, right there. Is it actually dessert here? I have $20 dollars gift card, bro. I'm here. sitting here dying on the sushi. You're like, hmm. <laughs> I'm just, I just have such confidence in Ronnie that he's going to beat this that I'm just preparing dessert for him to reward him for his efforts. Yeah. You're almost done, bro. That's gonna be terrible. I don't have any deep fried, just be a handful. Huh? I have no deep fried to go with it. <laughs> I have no deep fried to go with it. Alright guys, what we got left is this handful of non deep fried sushi. It's almost done, he's got a handful of stuff. Yeah. All the other stuff left. How long? 18 minutes. 18 minutes, right? He's going strong. Come on, brother, just a big handful, get it in your mouth, let's get it down. Wash it down. You're doing good. Take your time if you need to. Spicy? I just don't know. Yeah. Just, just, just go. Oh, just go. Hey, that's good. 20 minutes. 20 minutes, man. Oh, woo! Yeah! Right, I so made it. And Ronnie made it. And not as an impressive time as Joe, but I got there. It doesn't matter. So that, Ryan just finished about 20 minutes. Congratulations, to Ronnie. Killed him, my dude. Thank you. Congratulations on 100. 100? Good 100. Oh, yeah, 100. I yeah. forgot all about that. Yeah. So I guess with that is number 100. Congratulations, everybody. Thank you for coming along on this awesome journey. Had a lot of fun today, a lot of fun this weekend, more to be had. Great to be with my friends here, and uh, great to have good food and company. So, that everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry, and happy eating. Ronnie loves sushi. Oh. Awesome. Come on. First time having sushi, it sounds like maybe it's the last.